So we started the replantation way back in 2004 after the tsunami and it was because we found out after some research that the tsunami's impact could have been a lot less had there been mangroves protecting the shoreline and it would have saved so many lives and to avoid anything like that and to stop something like that from ever happening again we started a mangrove replantation with the communities and now it has evolved into something like a social enterprise it's called growing money and what we do is we create sustainable handicrafts we promote organic farming and we also still continue our campaigning and awareness uh, to ensure that the mangroves in Sri Lanka are protected and we also work with policy stakeholders to ensure that there is better implementation of policies to protect mangroves and especially to create more Ramsar certified wetlands in Sri Lanka and we also import some of the mangroves, uh, the handicrafts that we create with the mangroves so that there is incentive for the communities to continue it and for the communities to have stakeholdership and to ensure that they feel like the whole thing is part of them and not something that someone else owns or something that someone else motivates them to do.